Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're to my marketing with marketing experts from around the country. And today we're in Dallas, Texas with Michael Pratt from Pen Amplify. And Michael, welcome to our conversation today. Hey, thank you. It's great to be here, Howard. Well, we're glad to have you and looking forward to learning a lot more about what you're doing now with, uh, with your company, with your clients. So why don't you start with sharing with us what is Pen Amplify and the things that you're doing right now? Okay, great. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, timely question, given that we're kind of knee deep into what you could call post COVID. But Pen Amplify is simply a marketing reporting platform. We started off by building uh, reports that ad agencies give to their clients. Uh, that was our primary focus. And now we've branched, we, uh, we serve two uh, customer segments, if you will. We're now building reports directly for brands. So we're servicing both agencies and uh, brands for slightly different reasons. But uh, that's become quite important given the uh, bifurcation of a lot of marketing platforms these days. Well, having that access to the agencies and the brands really does help give a lot more information and provide a lot more structure for, uh, for the, the projects that they're working on. So when you're communicating with, whether it's a company or an agency or brand, what kind of questions are you asking them first off to verify what their needs are and how you're able to uh, address them? Well, those are two very different questions depending on whether you're talking to an agency or a brand. For an agency, it's really what is the narrative that they're trying to convey and the message they're trying to convey to a particular client, right? Because a client, a brand, is giving money for an agency to conduct marketing activities and achieve various goals and objectives that the brand has. The agency needs to convey that success via a narrative or a message. With a brand, it's a little bit different. They're spending marketing dollars, but when we are helping a brand out, it's usually because the brand is using multiple agencies to do various activities, whether it's because one agency is specifically uh, adept at a particular channel or whatever. And so the, for the brand, we're helping bring together uh, a more cohesive understanding of all their marketing activities as opposed to a narrative from an agency. Slightly different reasons. Well, whether it's a brand or an agency, you're definitely on top of the things that you are providing for them, which is definitely helpful to their day-to-day. -day. But your day-to-day -day is not just the work you're doing with them, but you also have big events that you've worked on and you have a big one coming up. Why don't you share with us exactly what uh, you have coming up? So on the side, a labor of love, which has actually become quite a, um, a very useful, uh, fun endeavor for me, is an event that, uh, that we euphemistically called Digital Fight Club. And it was born in 2015 out of a desire to avoid, no offense to the conferences out there, but boring panels. And, you know, panels are a safe space, in my opinion, and you can say whatever you want and get away with saying nothing. But when you put two executives who are knowledgeable in their field on a stage in front of their peers who are voting and have them debate in 10 or 11 minutes on a topic, they usually bring it. They, uh, they, will, they will put a lot of work into it and they don't like to lose. So in February, we're doing the marketing version of this event. It's the second time we're doing the marketing version. This will be our 19th Digital Fight Club. And it's a, quite a simple formula. We, uh, we invite 40 CMOs and their teams from various brands. Five of them are, quote, referees. And we have the CMO of Sam's Club, Signet Jewelers, Propelled Brands, which is um, Fast Signs. And they will submit three issues that they're, that they're challenged with right now in marketing. And we have 40 agencies, 10 of whom are going to provide their CEOs as fighters. And there will be five fights on stage, and they will get on and debate one at a time uh, on these various topics. So one of the topics is influencer marketing. Another is uh, bottom funnel marketing in a world where cookies and tracking from Apple have been taken away. Great fights, and the audience votes on it. Um, and so that's February 16th, and it's, it's really my favorite thing to do, aside from working on my day job. Well, it definitely sounds like an amazing event and should really be an outstanding experience for everyone there. So we thank you for sharing that, and really thank you for joining us today. Well, I thank you. I love being here, and uh, it's good to see you again, Howard. Have a great day, and thank you again.
And thank you all for joining us as well. It's really great. So the events like that are just outstanding. If you have an opportunity to go check that out and come, come participate in something like that, it really is a rewarding experience. And there's a lot of great things going on in general with Pen Amplify. So please check that out on Daily Ad Brief. But go out, have a great rest of today. And we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.